Hi there everyone and welcome to the Novel Novel Strip Show, the show where I discuss my opinions on various books and comics. Um, today what I'd like to do is sl- something slightly different. Um, I'd like to talk about Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel, um, but I'm actually going to go right back to the beginning and discuss the TV show um, and even the movie and how it all fits together. Um, so we'll go right from the very beginning of Buffy and see how the comics fit in with the TV series, etc. Um, so I'm also going to try a new format. I've done this for some of my wrap-ups so far, um, but I haven't done it for a comic reading order yet. Um, basically, I'm just going to talk, I'm just going to record audio, and then what I'll do is I'll just put up pictures of the collections of comics and TV uh, and DVDs, etc., because um, I don't have them all... Um, I don't own them all, so it doesn't really make sense to um, show you um, and have a lot of gaps in the videos. What I will do, however, because I personally quite enjoy seeing physical copies, um, the collections of the comics that I do have, I'll put them together in a separate video, um, and then once I've uploaded that, I'll link it in the description, um, just so you can see, because some of the hardbacks, for example, have special features and things like that, which I think are definitely worth the extra money. I absolutely love them. Um, so it'd be nice to actually show you that, um, so you can judge before buying if you think it's worth the extra money. Um, enough said there, so we'll just, yep, yeah, crack straight on. First of all, then, um, in chronological order of how, when everything it was made, we have Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie. Um, this was in 1992. It was a movie made before the TV series, and it is absolutely awful. Um, it is really, really bad. It's, like, really... It's not good. Um... Yeah, so I, um, I've i seen it once and I vowed never to watch it again. It was just that bad. Um, if you, you have seen it and you hated it, please don't let it stop you watching the series or reading the comics because they are far, 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 far better. Um, from what I understand, Joss Whedon, the creator, had quite little input into the movie. Um, and you can definitely tell because it was so bad. Um, and I love, you know, almost everything else that he's done. Um So, yeah, you can watch it if you want, um, but take it with a definite pinch of salt, laugh at it rather than with it. Um, No no offence to anyone who does like the movie, uh, but, yeah, it wasn't for me. Um, So, anyway, um, the series does take place after the movie. However, the series discusses the events that happened during the movie, um, and they do treat it as canon, so it is still canon. Um, If you want to watch it, then prepare for something truly awful, Uh, maybe get some drinks in and some mates and just laugh at it and hopefully you'll enjoy it Uh, I didn't do that and I yeah vowed never to watch it again who knows maybe one day with uh, lots of beer Um, right moving on from that then Um, so next up we have the TV series Um, so um, we'll start quite simply here Uh, we have series season one Um, that was 13 episodes and then it went to the 22 episode format for the rest of the seven seasons of Buffy so we have Buffy the Vampire Slayer season one followed by Buffy the Vampire Slayer Slayer season two followed by Buffy the Vampire Slayer season three Um, what happened during this time is Dark Knight uh, got the rights to make Buffy comics Um, and the Buffy comics made during this era all take place whilst Buffy is still in high school. She leaves high school quite spectacularly at the end of season three. Um, So the comics that take place during this era when she is still in high school, they were collected into Buffy the Vampire Slayer Omnibuses Volumes 1 to 4. So I'll put pictures up of Volumes 1 to 4 now as I'm speaking. Um, It's quite hard to know exactly where each issue slots in. Um, You can more or less generally um, get a sense of which season the the comic would slot into. Um, But for for simplicity's sake, um, I would watch seasons one to three and then read the Buffy the Vampire Slayer omnibuses volumes one to four, which all take place whilst Buffy is still at high school. Um, there is some uh, somewhat of a debate as to whether these are canon or not. Um, uh, from what I've heard, I haven't actually read any of these comics. I'm currently saving up to buy the omnibuses. Um, but I, I do hear that there is some conflict between uh, what happens in these comics and what happens later on in the series, etc. Because Joss Whedon didn't have any input 
um, or certainly not a, a significant amount of input to make them official canon, but I think um, it would still be worth reading them. If you do want to, this is where they slot in. Um, so as well as leaving high school at the end of season three, um, something quite interesting happened. Angel um, leaves Buffy, small spoiler alert there, apologies for that. Um, but I'm sure, you know, if you've not watched it yet, you'll find out soon enough because he actually gets his own TV series. Um, now with this, um, it, it gets quite complex. The two series parallel each other episode by episode um and so for example you'd have one episode of buffy ed and then almost immediately after you would have a, an episode of angel ed and they would reference each other so um to get the best viewing experience it's recommended that you watch the each episode of buffy and angel in the correct order one after the other rather than all of buffy season four and then all of buffy uh sorry all of angel season one um that gets quite convoluted and complicated so what i'll do is i found um a very good website um which details the optimum viewing order for all the episodes of buffy seasons four to seven and uh episodes of angel seasons one to five um, what I'm just going to discuss is, is the basic order um, just now. So yeah, I'll crack on with it. But please do look in the link in the description if you do want to watch them in the optimum viewing order. So we have Buffy Season 4 and alongside that we have Angel Season 1. After that we carry on with the TV series. We have uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 5 and Angel Season 2. Following the same trend we have... Uh, Buffy Season 6 and Angel Season 3, and then finally Buffy Season 7 and Angel Season 4. Now at this point, uh, Buffy ends, well, the TV series ended anyway, with Season 7. Um, Angel Season 4 finished, but then Angel does have another season. So after this, we have Angel Season 5. And then this is where we get mainly into the comic media. Um, so what I'm going to mention now are the remainder of the Buffy omnibuses. So this is where Joss Whedon and the other writers from the series didn't really have a huge amount of input, but there are still stories set um, post high school for Buffy. So that's Buffy the Vampire Slayer omnibus volumes five and six. Um, we then have an angel omnibus. So again, I believe it's still Dark Knight. Um, who had the the rights to Angel and published these comics? They're all they've all been collected in the Angel Omnibus. We then have Buffy the Vampire Slayer Omnibus Volume Seven, and finally Spike the Omnibus. So they, that includes um, stories mainly featuring Spike. So they've all been collected there, um, and this is before. Uh, Joss Whedon had a very big hand in the stories. Where it's up to you whether you consider them canon or not. But that's the order that they go in. Um, after that, now I've kind of slotted this in. You can sort of read it anywhere, but I personally would recommend reading it before season eight, as there is a bit of a crossover, a little spoiler there. Um, again, apologies for that, but um, I'm, when I came across it, I was very glad that I'd read this next one before I'd read Buffy season eight, um, and that is Frey. So Joss Whedon did actually write this. It is completely canon. He wrote this whilst Buffy was still on the air, so you could even read it before this if you wanted to. Um, and it's set thousands of years in the future, so in theory you could read it at any point if you like. However, the character of Frey does come back in season eight, so I'd recommend reading it before that because Joss Whedon wrote it before that. Um, and basically, um, it details a future Slayer. So there's um, been a long, great lull, um, many, many years where no Slayers have been called, and then Frey is the first Slayer to be called, um, but she doesn't understand her power. She doesn't have any links to the previous Slayers because um, she doesn't get the prophetic side of it she doesn't have um visions or anything else that the slayer often has she simply has the strength um the reason for that is revealed in later in the comic so i won't spoil it there um but yeah i would recommend at this point reading in for eight by your sweden and it's a great great series i absolutely loved it after that then, um, I'm going to mention these two um, trade paperbacks, which are the collected editions that I own. Um, I'm not too sure how it works with the other collected editions. There are smaller um, collected trade paperbacks. Um, I, I don't own those, so I'm not sure which order they should be read in. 
Um, but the collections I have are Angel Season 6 Volume 1, followed by Angel Season 6 Volume 2. So that's where they fall in the region order. Here it's just Angel Season 6 Volume 1, then Season 6 Volume 2 straight away. After that, we have Spike, the complete series. Um, so this is not the same as Spike Omnibus that I mentioned earlier. This is completely separate. It follows the event of Angel Season 6, which when Angel Season 6 was originally released, it was entitled um, Angel After the Fall. There is a mini-series called Spike After the Fall that is included in the Season 6 Volume 1, so you don't have to look for the separate issues or anything. It's just all in there. Season 6 Volume 1 and Season 6 Volume 2 contain everything that you need presumably in the order that you should read it in as well but after that you will need to buy spike the complete series because it's separate it's not included in angel season six but it does precede um season eight of buffy which is the next thing that we come on to um so once again there are uh, several versions of this uh, there's a, i believe a buffy season eight omnibus edition there is also individual trade paperbacks which i think collect four editions at a time what i own are the buffy the vampire slayer season eight library editions um so these are called oversized editions they're much larger they're actually printed in the original size that the artwork is drawn at so um, normally with comic books artwork is drawn much much larger larger sorry and then it um it gets shrinked down um, to be much, much smaller. Um, these editions, the uh, library editions, are hardbacks, and they're printed in the full size that the original art was drawn in, so you can see more detail, um, and they're just beautiful. They contain extra um, information, they contain um, forwards, etc., or, you know, interviews with the writers, um, there's lots of extra sketches in the back, there's a full cover gallery, so you get to see all the covers, um, as well full size and it's yeah absolutely stunning i cannot recommend them enough they've got bookmarks in them as well like a, a ribbon bookmark in the middle um and i absolutely love them i really do um so i think they're very much worth the money as i said i'll do another video uh showing them off um, because i really like them uh anyway yeah so enough about that but this is the order that they come in so there's um buffy the vampire Slayer season 8 volume 1 library edition Followed by Season 8, Volume 2. Then we have Season 8, Volume 3. And lastly, Season 8, Volume 4. So those are the four library editions for Buffy Season 8. Now after that, again, I've just kind of slotted it in here. Um, but it, it, you could, in theory, read it anywhere. Um, I would definitely recommend it was produced kind of alongside Season 8. So I recommend either reading it before or after maybe even in the middle if you wanted. I don't actually own it yet because um, it's quite hard to come by. It's out of, um, it's currently out of stock everywhere. Um, but yeah, uh, that's Buffy the Vampire Slayer Tales. So this collects some prequel stories, some other things, um, but it was written alongside season eight. So I believe it does tie into season eight a little bit as well. So um, I believe from what I've read, it would be best to read it after season eight of Buffy or before but around the same time okay after that then again i own the um library editions of these so we have buffy the vampire slayer vo season 9 volume 1 followed by buffy the vampire slayer season 9 volume 2 and then lastly buffy the vampire slayer season 9 volume 3 Okay, so just three volumes, not four, for Buffy Season 9. However, we do also have a companion series. Um, so it's entirely up to you how you read this. If you want to read all of Buffy and then all of the next series I'm going to talk about, you can do that. Or you can read Volume 1 of Buffy and then Volume 2 of this series. So, I'll, I'll, um, yeah, so that's the series that I'm talking about is actually Angel and Faith. So it's a companion series. Um, it, it, it happens at the same time as uh, Buffy Season 9. So it's titled Angel and Faith Season 9. And again, there are three volumes. So there's uh, Angel and Faith Season 9 Volume 1 Library Edition. Angel and Faith Season 9 Volume 2 Library Edition. And Angel and Faith Season 9 Volume 3 Library Edition. So that's where they fit in with the regional order there. Um, 
Lastly, then, in terms of the collections that have been released, I very much prefer um, reading collected editions, especially with Buffy, above anything else, um, because the library editions are just so amazing. I love them so much. Um, so I wait for those. What I've just received um, this week was Buffy Season 10, Volume 1 Library Edition. So Season 10 has just been released, even though the individual issues were released, I think it was at least five years ago now. So if you're waiting for the hardbacks, you definitely will be very much, very, very far behind. I think Season 12 is just about to come out, and I've just got Season 10, and it's going to be months before Season 10, Volume 2 comes out. There is also nothing so far about Angel and Faith Season 10, Volume 1, in the library edition, so I'm slightly worried about that, but hopefully it will appear at some point, because again, um, Buffy Season 10 and Angel of Faith Season 10 parallel one another. Um, so that's as far as I'm up to with the comics. Um, I, I know, as I said, Buffy Season 11 has come out, and I believe Buffy Season 12 is about to come out, um, but I don't want to go into an in-depth read in order for them because I don't own them and I don't know much about them. I'm just on season 10 because that's where the um, collected library editions are up to. But hopefully this has been useful. Um, uh, also, yeah, there's supposed to be a Buffy reboot. There's kind of rumours about that flying about, so it'll be interesting to see if that fits into this in any way. Um, I might do an update video if it does. Um, but yeah, hopefully this was useful. Um, please let me know what you think. And thanks very much for watching.